What's good you guys, my name is Jovo Royce and welcome to the channel and if you are returning, I'm glad to have you back. Today we're talking about Zara's Summer Assortment and they have some awesome pieces for us to try out. I got a bunch of these really light flowy pieces, these like pleated items that they have, a whole assortment. I bought like too many pieces. We got some fun colors, these neons, these pastels and everything, and then some really nice tailoring. So we got some suits and polos that I cannot wait to show you guys. As you guys may know, I'm gonna style it all of these pieces according to my style, according to my frame. But if anything that I'm wearing doesn't quite fit your style, your aesthetic, just switch it up. Maybe you have a shirt at home that you like better than the one I'm wearing. Maybe you have pants that'll fit you better. Whatever you need to do, make it your own. Before we get started, remember if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And also in the comment section, let me know what you wanna see in future videos because I'd love to hear your suggestions and make it happen. But with that said, let's get to it. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is this pleated collection that they've had on the site for the past few weeks. So it's very Issei Miyake inspired and I wanted to see how it compares in person. So I copped a bunch of pieces, I'll show them all to you, but we're going to start with the black ones. Now first observation, they're really comfortable. The fabric's super soft, it's thin, and it feels pretty good on the skin. I think these might be really good for the summer, but it'd be interesting to see how they actually stand up in the heat, because I imagine they might get a little sticky if you start to sweat. So I got the black tee in both the shorts and the pants to play around with different looks and they're pretty cool. I think you can wear them with a lot of things and versatility is always a plus in my book. I also got this off-white sleeveless style which is probably my favorite piece from the collection. It's paper thin, it has these rock cut edges which I actually really like and it's a pretty sporty piece which I always tend to gravitate toward. Plus it's breathable and I love having my arms out so this one's definitely a keeper. They also have a few fun colors like this bright yellow tone but it was a little hard for me to style it with a lot because they're really attention grabbing pieces so you gotta sort of build the look around them. I caught this matching set in white which is pretty nice, it didn't make me as excited as I thought it would but uh, it was cool. And the last piece I copped is this green jacket which is nice in design but I thought it was terrible in execution. The collar is way too floppy and it just it really doesn't sit nicely most of the time. You can style it up in some cool ways, but it's really not a great piece in my opinion, so I don't know about it. Alright, let's keep it moving. I got this wider leg pair of skater jeans in white, and these are one of my favorite picks from this video. They're just really cool and they feel good. I love summer whites, and I didn't have a pair of looser jeans in this color, so I'm happy with this one. Plus, the price point was great. I tucked in that jacket to try to give it a bit more structure, but again, I'm definitely not keeping it. Next up, these printed button downs. Now this is my favorite piece that I bought. The print, the colors, the fit and the vibe, everything about this I love. As soon as I saw it, I added it to my cart immediately. And for the styling, I cuffed the sleeves and I wore it open, but I just had to play around with that color a bit. All those pastels, it's so tropical. So I threw on these mint green Bermuda shorts from ASOS to pull out some of the green. So good, this just feels so nice and right for the season, I love this. This next one feels a bit more chill and laid back, but it still has a lot of really cool elements. The pastel tones for one, I love that dusty pink and the neutrals with the contrast of the dark red and green. And then the palm leaves, they add a really nice dash of summer to things in my opinion, so it's right on trend for the season. I thought it looked better unbuttoned, so I left it open to show off the tank. And then I threw on the same Aceless Bermuda shorts in a different color. It's a perfect piece for a weekend in the city. Hey guys, real quick, I wanted to give you some exciting news. I have my own style series with Complex and In The Know, which I wanted to let you guys know so you can check that out. Basically, every episode we cover a different topic in style and fashion, and it's all the tips and trend coverage that you need to stay up to date and look your best all season long. So if you want to check it out, click on my channel page down here. There should be a link somewhere, Jovo Royston, and check out the playlist. It's ITK The Guide. You can see all the episodes. I'm updating it weekly so that you have everything at your disposal. And yeah, tune in and let me know what you think. All right, let's get back to it. Now let's look at a few pops of color that caught my eye. First, this cool, almost trippy purple and orange striped tee. Now whereas mint green was my color of the spring, I think purple might be my color of the summer. I've unintentionally been getting quite a few new items in different shades of purple and I love it. Designed with the orange, it makes for a really cool and out of the box color combo. And I think it looks great with those neutral pants by themselves, but I recently got these shades from ASOS that are a fun finishing touch. And I also have this suit from Express that I think it works perfectly with. Plus, purple is a standout color that I think a lot of guys sleep on, except for maybe a Lakers jersey. Next, they had these really nice, well-fitted polos. 
Now, let me start by saying that Zara is terrible when it comes to inclusive sizing, so these may not fit as nicely for my Plus Brothers, but I really thought that the tones were nice. They had like seven different colors in all, I think, but I like the pink and the green the best. They're pretty lightweight, so they're good for the summer too. All right, just a few more items. Let's check out these suits that I mentioned earlier. Both of them are these amazing dusty pastels, so check it out. First, this mint green style. When I saw it on the site, it looked amazing, but I guess I didn't realize how oversized it was. They really need to put that in the product title because I was shocked. I love the tones, but the fit just does not work for me when it's buttoned up, so I thought I'd dress it down and make it really relaxed. I ditched the polo and I threw on this heavyweight tee that they had on the site instead. I love a good monochromatic moment, and it does look way better when it's dressed down. I added the cap up top to make it a little bit sporty, but all in all, I don't think I'd keep the suit. Again, the color is beautiful though. I dropped the jacket and I styled the tee on its own too. I, I love t-shirts that have blocks of text like this one on the chest. It's a little poem. I've been seeing a lot of shirts like this lately and they have this one in three different colors with different poems. Now let's check out that blue option. This one fit way better and I really loved how this look came out. It's super simple, but it feels right for the summer. I wish the suit was just a bit more blue. It feels really grayish in my opinion, but I think it's really nice. I dressed it up two different ways, so you see it with the tank, but they have this collection of t-shirts where they're honoring like different celebrities who have passed away. I got the James Dean one because I'm an actor and I love the quote on the chest. Like I said, I love shirts like that. And then I layered it into the look for another take on summer suiting. Real quick, here's a look at some of the details for the shirt before I put the jacket back on. I really love dusty pastel tones, they're one of my favorite color plays, so I'm really glad that at least one of these two suits worked out. I threw on some white sneakers below and a cap up top, and now it's a whole new look. It's a great choice for the season ahead. Alright guys, we made it. Thanks for checking out the pieces I caught from Zara. Like I said, there's a lot to love. Hit the description box if you need to find any product info or to check out my series within the Knowing Complex. I have the link down in the description box, so check it out. If you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know what pieces you like the best. Stay tuned for more videos in the weeks ahead, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.